Hello everyone, what I'm going to show you today is how to make a wireless Wii sensor bar in just a couple easy steps. What you'll see right here is the box for what I got this in. It says high output infrared LED on it. You can see right here on this Radio Shack receipt that I got three of them for $5.37. Now in this video we're only going to be using two of them, but I got three because I can use one for a spare in case something happens. Okay, what you see me doing right here is I'm going to make one of the two parts of the wireless Wii sensor bar. I'm going to need two of the LEDs and two of the AAA batteries to do both sides, but we're just going to do one of them right now. Okay, what I'm going to point to right here is the positive wire of the LED light, okay? That's the longer side, you can see that right there. You want to make sure that you put the positive wire of the LED light onto the positive end of the battery and the negative on the negative. Uh, because if you don't put the right wires on the right ends of the battery, you'll ruin the LED light. Now I bent both the wires out flat so they're longer than the AAA battery. That way now I can bend them at an angle like that. <clears throat> and uh, then once I bend the negative end of the LED wire, it will hold itself down onto the battery. That way it won't fall off while you're playing. Um, you could also tape it down too, but just make sure that you disconnect both of the wires, or at least, well, you need to make sure you disconnect at least one of the wires, or um, it'll just stay on. It's not going to have an on and off switch unless you make your own. Um, now, uh, just kind of look at it there and see about where the negative end needs to be bent, and then just kind of crease it, and then you can take it back off and bend it a little bit shorter than that because that way it'll really hold itself on there then. You really won't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm going to slide this down onto there in just a second. What you're going to see is a purple light. That's the infrared light. You're not going to be able to see it yourself, but uh, the camera can pick it up because it doesn't have an infrared filter. Okay. There you go, that's the light right there. It's kind of like purplish, but that's part of your Wii sensor bar. Okay, what you're going to see right now on top of the TV screen are basically four lights. The blinking lights are the Wii sensor bar lights. The two solid lights are the ones that we just made. Now on the screen you'll see the two dots, okay? Those are the real Wii sensor bar infrared LEDs. And then just one second you'll see two other lights, one on the right and one on the left. They're smaller, okay? Two dots, I'm sure I should say. Those are the ones that we just made, okay? And you can make it into this menu by just going to Wii settings and click on sensor bar, go to sensitivity, and press the A button once and then once again and you'll come into this menu. Now you can see I just unplugged my Wii sensor bar and you'll see just two smaller dots on that screen there. Now uh, the Wii seems to be working just fine just by using those LEDs hooked up to AAA batteries. We're going to go into Wii Sports and we're going to try a game of tennis here. Okay, I'm going to take the sensor bar off the TV just to show you that I don't have it plugged in, I don't have anything rigged. Okay. That those two lights on the top are what I'm using to control the Wii right now. You can see I just put that down on the ground. Just remember, those are the two LEDs that we just hooked up to the AAA batteries, okay? You'll need to use two of those, okay? I'm gonna hit the A and B button together. I'm gonna go click on uh, tennis. I'm gonna pick one player. And there's my me. And then we're going to do a single game. Okay, what you need to make sure you do before you play is always put on your Wii wrist strap because I've heard too many stories about people throwing their Wii remotes through, t through their TV, which costs a lot of money. So go ahead and make sure you do that. I'm going to serve the uh, tennis ball here. We're going to volley it back and forth a few times. I'm not, I'm not the best at this game, but you know this is just showing you that it's working just fine. Obviously, this game uses the Wii sensor bar. I'm going to go and hit it on the right side of the court. They won't be able to get to it. So uh, I win that side. Or I win that set. Now I'm going to show you by disconnecting my Wii remote that I don't have anything you know, set up ahead of time to uh, make this work without the Wii sensor bar. That This is just using those two lights that we just hooked up. Yep. So you can see that it's working just fine. You know, if you do this yourself, it'll work for you too. Just make sure you pay attention to what I showed you. So I'll just show you again. 
just two AAA batteries, two high output infrared LED lights from Radio Shack. For about $10 and about 10 minutes of your time, you can make this too. So remember, have fun and we rocks. Hey everybody, just wanted to show you this real quick. This is one of the wireless Wii sensor bar parts that we just made. I used some white duct tape so it'll match my Wii better. You can do this too by using about two pieces of duct tape. The duct tape is about the perfect width to go right around the battery. Just kind of wrap up the positive end, leave the negative end uncovered. That way, you can make a simple switch so that you don't have to unwrap it every night that you use it. Just kind of slide that paper right under the negative end there, like that, and turn it off and on, like so. So it's as simple as that. Now it matches your Wii better, and now you can use it wirelessly. Hope you liked the video. Have fun.